There were several other shootings within 24 hours in and around the city. In all, seven people were wounded. That six-year-old girl was the youngest victim. A teenager was also shot in Edgewood. Tonight, community leaders are searching for solutions to the violence. Jessica Gway joins us now with what she's hearing about that. Jessica. Ken, I reached out to the mayor and many other city officials, and only one spoke to us. She says this was a city council member. She told us that she's, they, she thinks that they need to figure out what is working and what is not to break this cycle of violence. What will end the violence in Pittsburgh? That's the trillion dollar question. I think if we all knew that, um, we'd be doing it. The number of shootings just keeps growing. But we really have to do a better job. There were six shootings in the city and Wilkinsburg on Thursday night, seven victims total. One is a six-year-old girl. Obviously, it's tragic, it's disturbing. Our hearts go out to the families and to the communities and to those responding to it. Pittsburgh City Council President Teresa Kale Smith says they need to put current efforts to prevent violence under a microscope. There's a lot being done, but the question is, is you know, what more needs done, uh, what is working? And I think those are the areas we have to to look in and enhance and expand. Um, and if it's not, they're not working, then we need to have an evaluation of those programs and what we could do better. Organizations and church leaders have been holding rallies and prayer vigils, calling on the community to come together to find solutions. At the same time, Kale Smith says city officials are constantly looking for new ways to address this issue, like the Stop the Violence Office and community policing. But I think that there's a lot of efforts of everyone working together, but it's still, no matter, it's, it doesn't seem like we're reaching exactly uh, either the people we need to reach or we're not doing enough of what we need to do. It's a crucial time to figure out how to make the Steel City safer. I think it should show us all that anyone could be a victim, so it would behooves us all to be involved and to try to find solutions working collectively uh, for the betterment of our, of our city and our country. Kale Smith also thinks there needs to be an assessment of social services in Allegheny County to see if services are helping prevent violent crimes. Mayor Bill Peduto was not available to speak with us. Other city officials, council members did not respond. Live on the North Shore, Jessica Gway, KDKA News.